As the nation tries to move forward out of the pandemic, there's still a major need in the public health system to get us there. A new report by the nonprofit Trust for America's Health blames chronic underfunding in creating health inequities, and it's said to be a contributing factor in the inadequate response to the pandemic. The nonprofit is now calling for an annual $4 billion investment in the public health infrastructure. But joining us now to talk more about it is President and CEO of Trust for America's Health. Dr. J. Nadine Gracia. Thanks, thanks so much for joining us. So I want to get right to Good it. To the report says lack of funding really slowed the response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Can you, you expand on that a little bit, exacerbating its impact really particularly to low-income communities, communities of colors, and those serving the elderly? What did you really find? Yes, what this report found is, is that funding uh, for the public health system really has not kept up uh, with the public health needs of the nation. Uh, and that chronic underfunding of the public health system really is detrimental to health and well-being of all communities, as well as our nation's health security. Uh, and we call for that in significantly increasing funding to support the public health infrastructure, because what we have a, a seen over decades time is limited investment in the infrastructure to support the day-to-day -day work that public health does in communities around the country. And we really saw a problem in, you know, communities of colors, those uh, affecting the elderly or low in communities in particular. I mean, I mean, it was well evidenced during COVID. A lot of those communities ended up getting this virus much worse. They just didn't have some of the needs that they required. Well, what we see certainly uh, with regards to health inequities uh, that we may see, for example, in, in communities of color, uh, in low-income communities, uh, is that there are, many of these communities are un indeed under-resourced. Uh, and when you think about having access to health care, uh, assuring, for example, that workers have access to paid sick leave so that they can take time off and not fear losing their job or losing income uh, if they don't show up for work, uh, ensuring that they can make ends meet and being able to have access to a affordable and healthy foods uh, and not suffer from food insecurity. That demonstrates how our health is not only tied to what happens in a healthcare setting, uh, but also the community conditions and resources in our communities. If you want to see the full interview, you can watch it on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, or download our NBC Bay Area streaming app. You can find it under the Must See playlist.